After months of waiting, Tesla owners who wish to take part in the company's FSD beta program could now formally request the Advanced Driver Assist system to be loaded into their vehicle. The release of the Request FSD Beta button comes before the rollout of FSD Beta 10.1, which is expected to be distributed to the company's testers soon. Also, Tesla pushed a new version of their mobile app, V4.1.0, to the iOS App Store. This update includes a number of new features that owners have been asking for. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. The wait has been long for Tesla owners who are looking to test out the company's most advanced driver assist system to date. Initially intended for release months ago, the rollout of the request FSD beta button has been delayed multiple times. True to Elon Musk's recent statements on Twitter, however, the wait for the famed button is now over, with Tesla releasing the function in its software update, 2021.32.22. As per the update's release notes, you can now request early access to full self-driving beta, with pending eligibility. To get started, tap Controls, Autopilot, request full self-driving beta, and follow the instructions. Similar to the FSD beta program that has initially been released to the company's first batch of testers last October, Tesla made it a serious point to highlight that safety must be paramount when using the advanced driver assist system. This could be seen in the heavy emphasis on cautious driving that the company references in its recent update, as well as the use of safety scores to determine which drivers are eligible for the program. Tesla wrote, Thank you for your interest in limited early access full self-driving beta. The Tesla team is analyzing your vehicle driving data and safety score to determine eligibility. You can view your safety score from the Tesla app at any time. If eligible, you will receive a software update as part of the limited early access. Tesla also added that owners also have the option to opt out of the FSD beta test program. Tesla requires owners to agree to a number of terms and conditions for the FSD beta program. First off, the company noted that owners must consent to the collection and review of ongoing VIN-associated vehicle driving data while enrolled in the program. Also, participants must understand that when using FSD beta, they are responsible for remaining alert with their hands on the wheel and must be prepared to take action at any time. As mentioned earlier, the owner is asked for permission for Tesla to gain access to your vehicle's driving data and telemetry in order to determine your safety score for eligibility into the testing program. Owners will also need to download the latest mobile app, version 4.1.0, which was released recently. We will talk about the app and the new features included in it in some time. Let's talk about Tesla's safety score what it is, and how does it work. Safety scores are an assessment of driving behavior based on five metrics that the company calls safety factors. Here are the five factors, forward collision warnings per 1,000 miles, hard braking, aggressive turning, unsafe following, and forced autopilot disengagement. Tesla also provides a detailed explanation of the calculation of your safety score, which is performed on a daily basis. Tesla utilizes a predicted collision frequency PCF formula based on statistical modeling using 6 billion miles of fleet data to predict how many collisions may occur per 1 million miles driven. The PCF is converted into a safety score between 0 and 100, which are then viewed through the Tesla app. Tesla released some tips on how drivers could improve their safety score. To improve ratings on forward collision warnings per 1,000 miles, drivers are advised to maintain a following distance that gives enough time to react to slower or stationary vehicles ahead. Hard braking scores, on the other hand, could be improved by engaging the brake pedal early when slowing down and using regen braking whenever possible and safe to do so. Hard braking scores should also improve when drivers maintain a safe distance from the vehicle in front of them. Aggressive turning is defined as left or right acceleration in excess of 0.4. Thus, drivers could improve their numbers in this metric 
by taking turns gradually, reducing their speed heading into a turn, and gradually accelerating afterward. Unsafe following scores would likely be easy to improve, as drivers simply need to maintain a following distance, worth several car lengths, to the vehicle in front. This way, drivers could have enough time to react, just in case something untoward happens. Forced autopilot disengagement highlights the need to use the company's advanced driver assist features in a responsible manner. Proper autopilot use is outlined in vehicle's owner's manual, and it requires drivers to have their hands on the wheel and pay close attention to the road. Tesla notes that the forced autopilot disengagement metric is a one or zero indicator, with the value being one if autopilot forcibly disengages during a drive and zero if the system is operated nominally. Safety scores are updated every time a trip is taken on a Tesla vehicle. Provided that a Tesla is connected to the internet, safety scores should provide immediate feedback on a driving session. Vehicles that are not connected to the internet would update their safety scores as soon as cellular connectivity is secured. It should also be noted that all trips over 0.1 miles are considered as a valid driving session that could affect a driver's rating. Safety scores are vehicle-specific as well, so drivers with multiple Teslas could have varying ratings for each of their cars. Lastly, safety scores should reset when a vehicle is sold, which means that a Tesla's new owner should not be affected by the ratings of the previous driver. Drivers could also not carry over their safety scores from one vehicle if they purchase a new Tesla. The company further made it clear that while FSD Beta would provide vehicles with advanced driver assist capabilities that would enable navigation on areas such as inner city roads, FSD Beta does not make vehicles autonomous. Tesla also made it clear that access to the advanced driver assist system could be revoked at any time. This should discourage drivers from abusing the system, such as when Consumer Reports posted a video showing how to use autopilot without anyone in the driver's seat. Tesla's emphasis on safe driving with the release of the request FSD beta button is understandable. The scrutiny faced by new technologies such as autopilot and FSD is immense, after all, and it would be very easy for critics to take control of the narrative if something untoward were to happen. This was highlighted by Elon Musk recently when he noted on Twitter that the initial 2000 FSD beta testers have been testing the advanced driver assist system for almost a year with no accidents whatsoever. As the program expands with the request FSD beta button, Tesla would definitely do what it can to keep the system's safety record as intact as possible. Now, let's talk about the new Tesla app, version 4.1.0. According to the release notes, the update includes a number of new features that owners have been asking for. This includes the ability to adjust charge current, scheduled departure, or scheduled charging from within the app. Owners of cars with bioweapon defense mode can now enable the feature through the app. But most importantly was the asterisks at the bottom, which said, you need vehicle software version 2021.36 or higher for the features to work since the new software update was not released at the time of this new app. This new app also included troubleshooting issues related to solar. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.